Hi, and welcome back to Cooking with Louise. I'm Louise. On today's episode, I'm going to show you this quick and easy weeknight meal called cheddar broccoli risotto with chicken. And guess what? The whole thing is made in our brand new quick cooker. I am so excited to show you this product. Let's get started. These are the products that you will need in today's recipe. Two cups of broccoli florets, one cup of arbario rice, two cloves of garlic, a small onion, a lemon, Dijon mustard, a medium-sized red bell pepper, three cups of chicken stock, cheddar cheese, uh, cream cheese, and of course you're going to need some chicken tenders cut in little bite-sized pieces. And the most important product you are going to need is the Pampered Chef Quick Cooker. The first step in our recipe is to chop up the small onion. So for that, I am going to be using our manual food processor. So let me take off the skin of the onion, the manual food processor. there. If you've watched my videos, you know that I love using the manual food processor and I use it almost every day because we put onions in almost everything we eat. Put that on, pop the lid on, and just give it a couple of quick pulses. All right, and then we're going to just set that aside. And then we're going to go ahead and get our red bell pepper cut into little dices. Now I could throw it in there and do it with the onions, but I'm going to show you our quick slice. Which I know I've showed you before, but I want to show you again because this makes dicing so easy. Oops, I'm not cutting very good here. Okay, so what we're going to do for this is we're going to put a piece of the red pepper on here like this. Then we're going to press down. Then we're going to gather these up. Now see I have the strips. We're going to lay them down. And now I have the little dices. We'll just throw them in there with the onions. Today I'm making a mess. <laughs> okay, so let me just go ahead and do the rest of these. Now that all of our bell pepper is cut, it's time to put our quick cooker on sear. So we're going to take the lid off. We're going to find the sear setting and then we're going to hit start. We're going to add a little bit of oil to the inner pot. And then we're going to cook the onions and the red bell peppers with a little bit of garlic. So while that's heating up, I'm just going to go ahead and do the garlic into the little pot here. Manual food processor base. Let's put our garlic here, press down. And then here is this little tool to scrape that off. And there's our garlic which we'll just put in our little garbage bowl over here. And calls for two cloves of garlic. This one is a big old clove. Look at all that, Woo! shooting out. Okay, and look, bonus, it got stuck on there. I just go boop, never had to touch the garlic. I love that. I'll put the cleaning tool right there. And you can hear that's getting a little warm. I'm gonna go ahead now and add peppers and the onions and the garlic. And we're just going to cook this for about four minutes. Okay, stirring occasionally. So let's let that sit there for a while. Okay, that's been four minutes. I'm going to go ahead and press cancel. I'm going to add the chicken stock.
the arborio rice and the Dijon mustard. We need one tablespoon. <laughs> the hole to the mustard is too small for my measuring spoon. Don't worry, I made it work. All right, so now we're gonna mix all that together. Oh, a little salt and a little pepper. And I'm gonna give it a quick stir around. I'm gonna put the lid back on. Oh, can't forget the chicken. Most important part, the chicken. And now the lid goes on. There we go. And I'm going to set it on the white rice setting. So now I just turn the knob till I get to the white rice setting and press. Let me read my instructions and press start. So now what is happening is the four, it's set for four minutes. The four minutes is not going to start until it's come up to pressure. So you can see right here, the little lines going around and around. So it is coming to pressure now. And once it reaches the pressure, then this red dot will pop up. So I know that it is um, up to pressure. And that is when the four minutes will start. So we'll check back in four minutes. While the recipe is cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and grate the four ounces of cheddar cheese. And of course, I am not using bagged cheese. I am going to grate my own. I'm gonna use our adjustable coarse grater. Super easy to use, you can do it like that. I choose to do it like this. So we only need half of this block. So we're just gonna go ahead and grate that right here on my flexible cutting mat. And then I just need two ounces of the cream cheese, so I'll just cut off the section that I need. That's probably about half. You can't never have too much cheese, right? <laughs> so I probably did a little bit more than half. So we're good with the cheese. And for the cream cheese, I'm just gonna cut off two ounces. That is two ounces of cream cheese. There we go. And we'll just set that aside while we wait for our recipe to finish cooking. Okay, so it's been four minutes. I press cancel. And now, according to the instructions, it says to press the manual release button. But I want you to notice that the red pressure is there and watch. There you go. So you don't have to press and hold it. You just press it and then let your finger go. And now it's releasing all the pressure inside here. And you can see I'm perfectly safe standing next to it. I'm not getting, you know, hit with any steam or anything. So we're going to let all of this, the steam come out. As soon as the red button goes down, then I know it's safe and I can go ahead and open the lid. Besides that, the lid is locked when the button is up anyway. I couldn't open it, even if I wanted to. So we'll let that, let all the steam out. Waiting, 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 patiently. Not so patiently. <laughs> okay, you can see that it's less and less is coming out, which means that it's, Depressurizing and any second now I know that red button is going to go boop. So the next what we're going to do is we're going to add the broccoli and we're going to add our cheeses. 
Oh, did you see it just went down? So now that I know it's safe for me to go ahead and take the lid off, I'll set it over here. I'm just going to stir this around. It's, it's hot, so I'm going to use my little oven grips. I'm stir all of this around. I'm going to go ahead and add the broccoli. I'm going to add the, or set it on the sear setting again. And we're going to sear it for five minutes. So I'm going to go to sear. I'm going to uh, go to time. I'm going to reduce the time to five minutes. And then press start. Okay? Super easy. So basically, if you can read, you can operate our quick cooker. So let me go ahead and stir in this broccoli while it's on the sear. So if you prefer your broccoli a little uh, more tender, you could probably steam it for one to two minutes in our micro cookers and then add it. Because this is uh, totally raw broccoli, it's just getting uh, cooking from this last five minutes. And I'm going to go ahead and add the cheeses. So the two ounces of cream cheese and the four ounces of cheddar. I don't want to waste any cheese. I'm going to get it all out of there. All right. Get my little grip again. I don't know if you can hear it. Can you hear the sear? That's it. It's searing away in there. It smells yummy. So it says to sear for the five minutes, stirring often. So I'm just going to incorporate all of the cheeses for now. And then I'm going to add a little salt and a little pepper. Some pepper. And then the lemon we add at the very end. It's kind of like the finishing step. Ooh, smells so delicious and actually it looks really pretty because you see the red flecks of the red bell pepper and the green and of course the cheesiness. There we go. Alright, so for the lemon, oh, need a knife. Okay, so for the lemon, I'm going to cut the lemon in half, and I'm going to use our citrus press. So we only need a half of one lemon, and I'm just going to put it in here, cut side down, and I want you to see all the juice that comes out of this thing. I use two hands, press down, and squeeze. See all that out of one half of a lemon. There we go, and look, it turns it inside out. Love this lemon, or a... Uh, Citrus press. All right, let me stir that around again. Okay, so it has one minute left, and you can see how handy having a quick cooker would be for you in your kitchen. You can get your whole meal done in no time at all, and you've only dirtied one pot. Okay, there we go. So it's just beeped. All I gotta do now is press cancel. I'm gonna give it my final stir. And this is a boiling hot. Plus I'm getting a nice facial. <laughs> All right, let's put it in a bowl and check it out. Oh yeah, look at that. So the little chicken tenders were cut into little bite-sized pieces. So as you can see, those have cooked thoroughly. You can see how beautiful this recipe is with the bell pepper and the uh, green from the broccoli, the chicken, the onions, the cheese. Absolutely delicious. I hope that you'll make this for your family. Be sure to subscribe because I will be doing lots more recipes with my quick cooker. I will also um, give me some thumbs up and I would love to know what you think about it. Thanks for watching. Happy cooking. These are all the products used in today's video. I have put the links in the description so if you would like any of them in your kitchen. 
And remember, please subscribe so you will be up to date with all of my latest videos.